Welcome back to the video tech series from Matrix System, Automotive Finishes. Today's video will be featuring MP800 Plastic Parts Adhesion Promoter, and we're going to use it on a new, uncoated, unprimed plastic Volvo OEM lower spoiler. Today we're going to start this job with MXW9001 Low VOC Cleaner Degreaser. It's ideal for water-soluble contamination and plastic parts, as it's low VOC, it's a gentle cleaner, and it'll help keep the static electricity charge on the surface low as we clean. As with all cleaners, we want to wipe it on liberally. We don't want to just wipe it on and let it dry off though. We want to make sure and get around all the edges and really saturate it to dislodge any kind of contamination. And then dry it off with a clean dry towel and do so thoroughly around all the edges and everything. We want to be very certain to get inside of all the little crevices and style lines and everything where contamination can hide. Do this slowly, do this thoroughly, and it'll get a nice smooth finish you make sure you have no residue on the surface or any kind of contamination when you feel it. If you do, stop, do it over again, and then you can proceed. We're going to use a common soapy cleaner. This time, we're going to use Ajax. We're going to put a little bit of it on a white scuff pad because we don't need a severe scratch. We're really doing a very, very thorough job of cleaning. So with just a little bit on there, a little bit of water, the key thing to remember is to do it very thoroughly. You want to get every area a bunch of times. It's better that you go over one area a hundred times than it is to go over ten times really pushing hard. You don't want to scratch into the plastic and a white scuff pad will help prevent that. Gray is allowable sometimes but never a red or coarse sandpaper. The edges and the tabs as well as all the little style lines and fog light holes and everything else have to be done very very thoroughly. You can't do them too much. When you come around corners and get on mounting tabs and when you push this bumper into place it's going to put a lot of stress on those areas, so get even the mounting holes very carefully. When you're done with all the braiding, make sure and rinse it clean. And This is where you're going to really appreciate a cleanser instead of some kind of heavy compounds or something like that that may leave a residue on the surface. So rinse it clean, and when it is finally clean, dry it off like you would when you're degreasing. From this point on, treat it like you're top coating it. You're getting ready to take this thing into the spray booth, so really dry it off carefully, inspect it, look at it, get around all the edges and everything, and don't forget to wipe down the inside of it. Take another rag, make sure none gets on the outside, but if there's any sanding residue or anything inside, you want to get that off so that when you blow it off and tack it off later, it's not going to contaminate the outside of the part. When it's all smooth, you like it, there's no residue on it, let's take this thing into the booth and get it painted. Once again, we're going to select the MXW9001 Low VOC Degreaser Cleaner. It's going to be great for this part, we're going to put it on very thoroughly. If we see any kind of beading or anything unusual on the surface, now's the time to go back out, re-abrade an area that might be necessary, or re-clean it. Like always, make sure and use a clean, dry towel. This is very important. We've done a good job with the part till now. We don't want any contamination-related issues once we start spraying. I can't say it often enough, make sure and get in all little cracks and crevices, especially those mounting areas, because that's where adhesion will really be tested. As the video title says, we'll be using the MP800 Plastic Adhesion Promoter. It goes over most plastics, and it can be followed by most Matrix brand primers and surfacers. The mixing ratio is usually right on the can, but in this case it's ready to spray. So all you need to do is load your gun, get rid of the strainer, and then go spray the part. What we're using here is a top coat gun. Since this is part of a top coat system and every layer has to be very, very smooth, we're going to use a good quality gun. This is a 1.3 Awata Supernova. We want to adjust it to spray like a top coat. So we want to make our fan nice and wide. We want it to be appropriate atomization and we want to pay special additions to how far it's going to be so that we can hold it at that distance and make sure and get a nice even coat. We want to tack it off like we would any part and then when we spray it we want to spray a single flowing coat of this material. We don't want to be shy with it although it will be transparent because it's clear that doesn't mean that we want a thin layer or a dry layer. We want it to be a good solid foundation for what we're about to put over it. So that means that we have to have a nice even flowing coat and that's evident by how wet it is. It's a chemical game with plastic so we want to see a smooth coat on there and we want it to be able to wet out and lay out very nicely. A lot can be learned by watching it flash. As you can see in this little clip right here, it's getting duller and duller but it's still maintaining a uniform coat. That's important because we want that to be wet on the surface, the chemicals will do their job, and we know the subsequent adhesion and top coat system is going to be very good performing. Once we let that dry, 
we can go over it with, in this case, a gray sealer and just lay that out as a single coat. After the sealer flashes, you apply the base coat. In this case, we're using the MPBLV premium base coat from Matrix. With a VOC of less than 3.5 pounds per gallon, it's compliant in any market in North America. For this piece, we've selected MSV25 Low VOC Quick Cure Clear Coat. Now that the part is back in the car, another quick, effective repair from Matrix System. For the whole story on MP800 Plastic Parts Adhesion Promoter, visit matrixsystem.com or call your local rep. Thanks for viewing.